I don't think that's any better. I guess I'll just go with horrible hair. <laughs> so today is my Thanksgiving series, so my Thanksgiving things, and today is one of five. And I'm going to show you three different ways to fold napkins. The first way is more creative, and it's using paper napkins. And then the next two ways are using linen napkins. I hope that you enjoy this video. What you will need for the first napkin folding project is a, a cutter, stapler, pen, watercolors, paper napkins, and then a large sort of watercolor paper. This one, the dimensions are 9 by 12. The next step is to use a paper cutter to cut the right size. You want to make sure to measure it to uh, the same spot every single time so you know that each one of your uh, cutlery holders is going to be the same size. And then you're going to paint each one. So you only want to paint the bottom third of it and do whatever pattern you like. I just pretty much stuck with fall colors which is reds and oranges and yellows and here are the two that I have and after you are done painting you're going to let it dry so this takes about 15-20 minutes and once that's over I'm going to fold that third of the painting up and then you're going to make a little pocket for your cutlery so you're going to staple each side um, so you're going to end up putting four staples on each side so it kind of looks like a pocket, just like this. And then you're going to put a quote on the pocket. So there are a hundred different types of Thanksgiving quotes. I said, let our lives be full of thanks and giving. And uh, wait, let our lives be full of both thanks and giving. <laughs> But there's a ton of different Thanksgiving quotes, so look them up online. Uh, you can use the one that I used, or there's a ton of different ones. So then, with your paper napkins, I think this would be really cool with like bla a black napkin, but I didn't have any. So you can fold up your cutlery. Um, I just did kind of a V-shaped thing. And then you're going to put it in your little pocket. So there was a close-up, and then here's what it looks like from far away. Okay, so here is napkin two. Um, once I've unfolded it all, <laughs> I lay it out flat and then I fold it in half. That looks like a triangle. And then I fold that in half again so it looks like another triangle. And then I'm going to fold that in half again. So you fold it three different times to make it look like triangles. And then now I'm going to do what's called an accordion fold. So basically, it's just taking one of those halves, folding it almost all the way down, and then bring it back up, and then fold that one down and bring it back up, and just kind of repeat the process. So you're going to see it here again on the other side. You take the top corner, and then you fold it almost all the way down until it makes like a crease, and then you fold it up and then you fold that part down again and so you see on the right hand side it kind of looks like triangles on the side so now what I'm going to do is going to take my string you can use ribbon this is just like hemp string and then I'm going to tie it around the entire bottom so that the bottom stays secure so I'm going to take my ribbon and tie it in a bow um, you can tie it in just a knot but I find that the bow is easiest for people to undo and then once I've tied it in a bow, I'm going to spread out the little leaf layer. So this is going to look like a little leaf on your table. It's really sweet to put on like a plate or um, even just besides the plate. So there's the leaf. This is probably my favorite one because it involves my garden, obviously. So I just snipped a bunch of different kinds of herbs and then I grabbed a yellow napkin. I think any color will do besides green. So I have this yellow napkin. All I did is roll it up and then I take the same string. You can use raffia, you can use ribbon, and then here's Cooper helping me out. <laughs> 
and um, I just tie it in another bow and then once I tie it in the bow and make sure it's all pretty I just stick the herb in it and what the herb does is it makes it smell super nice it's green it's inviting and I use sage here but I also clipped parsley and you can use rosemary and I just think it looks really pretty so this is my favorite because it's the most simple and it's the easiest one to do and I love the way it smells Thanks so much for watching and be on the lookout for a new Thanksgiving video tomorrow.